Generic greetings and welcome to Sheltered Today's Beverages. <sighs> a nice cup of green tea. So Sheltered is a survival game where you have to survive in a post-apocalyptic environment of an undisclosed cataclysm and you have to do that in this bunker which you can build and upgrade and all of that sort of thing. I have played this thing several times on the channel before. In fact, we did a bit of a mini-series on it, but I haven't played it in quite some time and I don't know what it was, but... Um, I think it's a combination of me... Oh, it looks like the radio's going, but uh, apparently Michael didn't want to answer that. Oh, well. I think it's a combination of me watching a couple of YouTube channels about um, uncovering Titan 2 missile silos, and for whatever reason, I did the Boxing Day dip for charity, and when I came back, I was quite cold, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice just to be in a nice, warm, comfy bunker away from everything? And maybe some psychologist will squirm at that, and fair point well made, but... I still jumped on this and played for several hours and this is the end result actually no this is the end result after dying a couple of times because this is probably the best I've uh, actually ever had it in the game so far let's go to craft item and we're gonna craft a shelter room and go down there so the idea is as I said you have to survive and you do that by exploring you can see there is a world map go over to view map there and you've got this sort of uh, big arrangement here there's a couple of modes for your um, for your choice of uh, starting location so you can start at this mode which is the default mode that came with the game where it's basically you survive as long as possible uh, you can pick things like your uh, family and you can make them and give them traits and stats as well as your pet but there's also other scenarios where you actually do start in like a, a missile silo with a missile and you have to escape i haven't tried uh, many of those but they are in the game so we're going to examine the item from uh, the scrapyard here and uh, yeah what a surprise we've carried uh, we've got loads and loads of scrap on us so we're going to take pretty much what we can um looking around we do want some of the metal we do want some of that a lot of this we can't carry because it, it does actually stack and this is our expedition party here and they've got 28 of 28 so they're fully used up so i'm probably going to put back one of the rebars because i think it is just a weapon we don't own any of that but i'm going to take the hinge i would like to take that which is the distributor and that's something you can put in the camper van on the right there to use to travel around faster i believe but again bit of a problem there uh we don't really need a bucket we don't need the baseball bat actually is the baseball bat better than the rebar it is uh, damage 13 to 18 so oh no the rebar is much better but you do need strength oh you need you required strength of 14 so all right okay that's fair enough i think we'll keep that because we do have some quite strong characters but we tend to run away from combat rather than uh, work on it a lot of this stuff we can't really use so things like the plastic bottle and the burnt claws and the mannequin arm and stuff I, I don't really have a purpose unless you can use like a scrap recycler and we don't have one of those we might be able to build one though let's have a quick little craft item uh tier two i think it is um there is down there the makeshift recycler which does just look like a wheelie bin with an explosion of wires coming out of it but we do require a lot more plastic sort of ironically because that's generally what this thing produces so We'll have to see how we get on. But as you can see from here, the base is quite well established. We've got a storage box here. We've got a very basic stove, which happens to be basically an oil drum. Uh, we've got uh, more storage there, some pantry. We've got, at the moment uh, being built, this medium freezer, which allows us to, when we capture live animals from the snare traps, it allows us to then... Uh, let's see, accept this. We found someone else here. We haven't seen us yet. Want to try and talk to them? I will approach the strangers. Uh, yeah, it allows you to store that meat and then cook it. So instead of just using tin goods like we currently have, uh, like we currently have it being, should I say, uh, we can do it that way. So, uh, hey, you're all right there? Uh, confirmed. So we can trade recruit bully off flea. We're going to trade with them. Got some stuff to trade if you're interested. Take a look for all the good it'll do you. Um, so they've got some sand and some anti-radiation tablets. So that is actually quite good. I would like to get those anti-radiation tablets, but I don't know what we can trade them. Their trade value is 40, so I'm not really too sure. I think I'm going to trade them that for one, two, three, four soaps, because we have, I believe we've got about 10 or 12 at the base. We'll trade that. The main reason I'm doing that, not just to get the meds, but also it increases your charisma, which then obviously cheapens things up and that sort of thing. Hmm. 
So, uh, going back to the base, you can see we've got this medium freezer over here. We've got a generator, which is currently... Uh, we've upgraded it a little bit, but we do need to fill it with fuel, actually. Let's go over to accept transmission. Stumble across a small house. Looks like it might have some good loot. Let's search the location. That runs, that's on the first floor. That's what you get by default. On the second floor, which um, I think there was this little section here, we've got our workbench. We've currently got two of these beds. We've got a small freezer there, which I will be deconstructing in a moment. In fact, I will do that right now, deconstruct. We've got our t uh, medium water butts, two of on the left-hand side, plus two small water butts, bringing us up to a total storage of, I believe, about 100. Um... I think it will tell us somewhere, but we're currently on 90, but I'm pretty confident that I think it's about 100. Let's accept the transmission there. Found something in a small house. Are you interested? Yes, I am. So we found a lockbox, which we were able to open use our lockpick set, and the following items were discovered. We've got one gas mask, which is good for expeditions, because otherwise you'll get, or you can get irradiated, and some tin goods, so that is good. So we'll take those tin goods. We apparently won't take all of it. We'll take the gas mask. We'll take the fuel. We have got a toy teddy there. We've got water, which we we're perfectly fine with uh, record and paint cans and stuff. I'm probably going to ditch that transistor and take the canned food because we do have 11 transistors and more food, more better. We do actually have two shotguns I've recently found on the... Uh, on this expedition, but only one shotgun ammo, so quite frankly, I might just trade a shotgun to someone. And when I say that, I don't mean that in like a gangster sort of way, like I'm going to trade shots with him. Uh, I actually mean I'm going to sell the shotgun to someone, because with only one shotgun ammo and two shotguns, I might as well feed it to the feed it to him. That'll probably do more damage. Anyway, we'll confirm and do, the, do that. So this person is using the sort of cutting torch to get rid of that freezer there because the you know, medium freezer is over that side. That does say uh, capacity 2, I believe, that freezer, but it hopefully will move over to that side. Let me just accept that transmission again. So hello, this is Sharon. We found a small house out the wasteland. Should we check it out? Yes, we'll search the location. In terms of our people, we go over to the map here. We've got uh, Francis and Sharon, who we're currently exploring there. We have Ryan and... Uh, let's see if I can click on them in here. Probably difficult. Um, I can't click on them. Oh, yeah, and Ruth. That was... Uh, sorry. Um, Ruth and... Michael here were people who were visiting, and we, uh, we, we we welcomed them to our shelter. Uh, we have this snare trap on there, so I will uh, get... I'm going to say little Timmy here, but it's actually Anthony, to harvest that trap there. We'll also accept the transmission. So we'll have a look at the small house, we'll see what there is there. And, oh, so we've opened the lockbox. We found a gun of some kind, and we found two tin goods. So we'll take the tin goods, and actually we'll take the metal, we'll take the battery, we will take the fuel, and that is a piss. So we don't have any pistol ammo, but it'll be quite good to take. I'm going to dump the rebar. I don't think that's just a corner. That's just a piece of rib metal cable used to reinforce concrete. I don't know what we use that for, but at the moment, um, I think the other one will be better for us. So we'll do that. Let's go over to uh, Ruth here. You can see they're currently... Uh, they have a little bit of a thirst on them and also require the toilet. The toilet being a bucket over there. I do want to... At this point, uh, upgrade all of those because on the right hand side you can see we currently have two makeshift showers and one toilet. So it looks like, um, looks like, oops, sorry, 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 it's the controls can be a bit dodgy now and again. Uh, yeah, so the, yeah, who've we got here? How, why am I not clicking on him? There you go. Uh, Ryan is currently sleeping. Um, they're currently on automation mode. You can turn automation mode on from the top left there. Uh, trap harvested, we got the following. So yeah, you can click on that and it'll turn the automation on or off. I tend to let people do their thing. And just uh, look after their needs because it is a very, very heavily micromanaging game. You do spend a lot of your time just tasking, just like telling them to clean the shelter or to move this to there and that sort of thing. And I can understand if that's not everybody's cup of tea. I personally would... I like the theme a lot more than the moment to moment, which is and a bit of not, not, not the greatest thing to say about any game, but... Uh, well, if I'm being truthful, like I say, I think the theme does carry it quite a bit for me. And that workbench has got 10% tool efficiency, but these require to be fixed. So we'll fix all of those, and actually we can't fix them all. But, yeah, if you don't have the automation stuff on, you tend to find that all you're doing is just tell them to eat, sleep, drink, take a shower, and all that sort of thing. I just tend to uh, let them go about their business and do whatever. We do need to upgrade the shelter a bit more, because as you can see, we've got no lights in this first and uh, second level. Actually, you know what you call this? The first or ground? No, I think it's first, second, third. So yeah, the second and uh, third level. And oh, here we go. Look, we can see we've got people coming along, and that's popped up with loyalty there. That's because Ruth has only recently joined us, and they are not loyal. 
if they're not loyal, I believe they can't be sent out to go and uh, look at the, the different sites and such. And we'll probably end up sending them out. But as you can see, people are coming back here and they're very tired. They'll be hungry. And on top of that, we'll have to probably try and... Uh, probably try and fit all the stuff we found into the base so there is our perception going up there which is quite good that's for Sharon and Francis and we will see all of the resources so I'm going to say transfer all and we can't transfer them all which is a shame so we need to figure out what we need to dump looking through it uh, we are going to dump anything that we have probably one of. So things like one spring, well, that's taking up a full slot, so we're going to get rid of that. One petrol can, we'll dump that as well. Now the advantage of doing this is that all this goes into the storage bin and it gives you like a certain grace period, allows you to keep it there, go through and then do what you need to do. Um, lens, probably the same thing. Uh, we'll keep the relaxants, but we do want to definitely, definitely keep the lockpick both of these rucksacks there and quite frankly I'm very tempted to get rid of these carrier bags it says we own how many do we own own seven five six seven eight according to me <laughs> carrier bag that five six seven eight nine actually no nine so why is it only saying seven hmm strange um We'll get rid of two of those books. We'll take the canned food. Our pantry's full and cannot st store any more rations. Well, that's a first world bunker survival problem. Uh, what else do you want to take? Batteries. Uh, we're fine on that front. We're probably going to get rid of... Probably going to get rid of... What do we want to get rid of? Certainly not the food. None of this. Light bulb. Mm, I think probably keep probably get rid of some of the limestone take the gun and we do want to take the batteries as well get rid of this these carrier bags and then take the batteries and then we'll max it out we'll confirm that but a lot of those resources will stay up here so what i'm going to do is get them to feed up there uh, they're going to go this is uh, anthony who's going to feed uh, billy the horse there and you can see people are now cooking so that's good um, what we want to do is get them up and I tell them to eat because we're full. We might as well eat and use this food because otherwise we're just going to waste it. You can see there's an item bin back there. And once we have used some of this, and that person is also very, very hungry, so why would you not go and eat even more? Oh, actually he's tired as well. Open item bin and then we can transfer all of that. So that's why you, I would recommend doing something like that. We'll confirm that. We'll also tell, uh, tell them to probably go and add the fuel over there on the right hand side to the generator because we're currently on 0 0.5 out of 2.5 so if we fill it up with two cans oh there you go someone's uh, coming along there like diane has come and scavenged uh, in the item bin there let's get uh, anthony to return that suit because we don't want to do that i uh, don't have that on should i say and then we're going to add the fuel once again and take it up to the max amount that is excellent we're going to get some shelter clean because you can see there's loads of uh, horribleness down the bottom there and we definitely want to sort that out we should make something with the items we have yes i totally and utterly agree so what can we make well we can make things like gas masks and um you can make the cement cements used for uh, building the shelter room we just need timber really because I mean, we can't even build shelter room because we were out with the the wood we'll make the cement we'll let them crack on with that storage is at max Maximum capacity, yes, you are correct. I'm trying to build pretty much whatever I can to use these resources. It may also be an advantage to upgrade some of these things, so I'm not too sure. Actually, it's, it's a, a toilet. How much is an, a proper flushing toilet in the game? Uh, we do have the option to get another lockpick, but it's going to use most of our metal, and I probably don't want to do that. To make the a good toilet requires more metal and wood that we have, so that's a problem. Tier 4, we're not even up there yet. We've only got Tier 2 and 3. Special, there's nothing in there. Um, we don't need the small freezer. What's that? A spike trap and a fire extinguisher. Canister compress CO2 to put out fires. Never experienced that in the game, but I'm guessing if you don't have a fire extinguisher and it happens, then you're probably going to regret your decision. We also have a spike trap, so that's for people to break into the shelter. We have paint tins, but that's like something we're not really too bothered about what's that a makeshift toilet aha uh -huh. so that requires again more wood so what i'm reading here is basically we have a lot of resources but we don't really have the right resources what we need to do is send people out again and to explore so i am going to set up an expedition we can select the people that we want to go i will probably send out uh ruth because ruth is recently uh 
become loyal to so, so we can send them out uh, next person let's see we want someone that's not got a lot of uh we've got a lot of problems here but we also probably want someone with decent strength so sharon's like strength nine so she's great to send out um whereas anthony's only strength one um i think probably sharon but she does require a shower We'll send them back out. Um, what we need to do is look around then. Uh, we will say it says cycle. <laughs> cycle, I thought, uh, well, you're actually on a bike? No, it actually means cycle between the different vehicles you have. So we currently have a vehicle of horse. If you obviously build the camper van, you'll get more options there. So we are looking for anything that just says uh, wood. Uh, that says food ration there, but we want wood. So looking around, that's metal and wood, so that's fine. We're going to go there. Over there, we've got screwdrivers and pliers and cans, and it's not, so that's not something we want. Toys, uh, water, small house, which we've not actually explored yet. Nail, wood, pipes. So we're going to go there, and then there, and then that's got metal and wood. You don't have to set it like this, The basically this circle here. If any of these go in that, it will say, do you want to explore? So yes, technically, I guess we could remove some of these. So we'll say, go to there, go there, work your way along. Um, we've got, what's that over there? That is a mine. Uh, that's rope and gas masks and metal ore, but it's also got a hidden item buried, so we would be nice to go over there with a shovel, but I don't think we have one. Probably down to, that is water and petrol can and pliers and food. Nothing that we need. Same there as well. That will probably do us for now. Uh, 22 water required will confirm that. We will give them, naturally, some gas masks. We'll also give them, we could give them a weapon and we could do that. But instead what I'm probably going to do is take the rucksack. So we'll equip, uh, so to party. No, that's not that wrong, wrong, wrong to equipping. There we go. We could give them a weapon. Um... At this stage, I'm not really too bothered, not really too keen on that one. We'll confirm that, and then once again, we'll say equip, and then equip. So we're using these rucksacks rather than the carrier bags. I don't know if there's a durability on it, so they stop, but either way, we'll send the party, and we'll send them into the wasteland, and then we'll take the horse as well. One of the things you can do, and I will admit this is probably in <laughs> exploitation of unintended game mechanics type thing, but the horse requires feeding, I believe, every day. Or every other day. I think it might be every day, though. Um, however, it doesn't eat any food when it's out. So what you do is you constantly send expeditions out, and you never have to feed the horse. It's not right, but it is what is in the game. Anyway, so we are constantly using up these resources, trying to get these sorted. Uh, if we go to upgrade there, I wonder if there's anything we can upgrade this with. Um, you can see there's durability and efficiency, all of that sort of thing. We'll upgrade that. No, nothing there. Sadly not. Uh, we don't need to fix that. We probably need to fix the generator at some point, and these have been fixed anyway. We also definitely want another bed. However, that requires uh, some wool and some wood, but not much of it, so we probably can do that. So we'll see how we get on. Um, I guess for the time being then... Oh, looks like we'll accept the transmission. Stumble across a school. Yes, we'll search the location. We'll search it straight away. You can also scan frequencies and you can find more things. Actually, that says upgrades, so I didn't realise. Yes, you can actually build it to that. Increase the chances of broadcast uh, attracting someone by 20%. Decrease the time it takes to scan frequencies by 25%. So cool. As I said, I've been interested as of late with, um, well, in general, um, like the idea of bunkers and all that sort of thing, and quite macabre, I know, but um, yeah, I like the uh, like Titan 2 missile silo type things. There's a, lot, a couple of YouTube channels I've been watching as of late where they go and exp uh, not just explore them, but also uh, they're basically they bought them and they're turning them into different things, and I was uh, quite interested in that. That's why I would like... Um, there's a game coming out, I think, called Mr. Prepper, where it's uh, you can have that under your house and stuff, and you build a bunker, so that's uh, looking fairly cool. I've played other ones, like uh, Life in Bunker is another one as well, but anyway. Uh, confirming all this, uh, so apparently they're going to be uh, trading. I will say no, goodbye, because we've got nothing to trade, so what's the point? It's uh, quite terrible that when you when you find someone straight away that uh, want to trade uh, and you've got nothing on you. So we'll accept the transmission. So we'll find uh, oh, we'll search the school straight away. We've got some wood there. We're going to take hinges, leather, uh, mortars, switches. Uh, you know what? We've got so much stuff. We can take the lot at this stage. It doesn't matter. You just take the lot and you can always trade it away. I find or just fling it. So um, it looks like it looks like Anthony is not only managing to repair a bed with a cutting torch 
I mean, fair enough if it was the metal, but A, you haven't removed the sheets, and B, one would say more important, Michael is currently sleeping in it. I mean, I know he was asking for an electric blanket earlier. It was a little bit chilly, but that might be going a little bit too far. And oh, we have a couple of people coming down the steps and they've got ripped jeans. So immediately we're not going to get on. Uh, let me accept uh, this transmission. Stumble across a small house. We'll search the location. I will now we'll have a chat to respond. Brian, hey, you still live in there? We've got some nice goods available for trade. Do you want to make a deal? Yes. Yes, I do. And, oh, this is what we're wanting. We'll take the wood. We'll take all of those hinges. We'll take all of that nylon. We'll take probably... Do we need the limestone? I don't think we do need the limestone. I'll take the lighter. Generates flame on demand. I mean, that's generally accepted what it does. I will take one, two, three of these rubbers just to get to uh, five on there and stacks. I will trade a shotgun. Whoa! Trade value 200. Wow, okay. Apparently I've looked out massively on getting uh, that thing. I will trade of all things, probably fuel. I mean, they've got loads of fuel around us. It's just raw resources that I need. Um, five. So one, two limestone just to get that maxed out to the uh, stack of five. Magnesium? It does... No, oh, that's, as, that's as much as we can trade. Okay, so I will trade that and for these resources... I will give them some empty petrol cans to finish that off. I'm going to give them the bags because although it increases the amount we can carry, quite frankly, I've got the satchels and I can make more of them. So it doesn't really matter to me. I will trade them one book, which takes up to 40 out of 41. So one more item to trade would be acceptable at trade value one, which I don't know if we've got anything at trade value one. I don't really don't think we have so it's just the lowest trade value that we can find or oh, a pipe apparently but we are looking for pipes anyway um I'll, I'll trade in one water because why not and there you go and you don't get any statistical increase in there which is a bit of a shame i think but uh, there we are anyway so we've got that get that's getting built that's getting done over there i will double check the thing over here yes we now we now have uh, extra wood so we can create uh, more shelter room but I think I'm waiting until we get some more wool because we definitely need that there. That's actually a toy chest. To stores? Toys for children to play with. A great stress relief for children. We currently don't have a lot of stress on that, so that's not too much of a problem. Oh, there's a prospecting kit. Group uh, prospecting tools when combined with an expedition party to uncover more items and mines, clearings, mountain passes, and caverns. So we can make one of those. I think at the moment, though, bed is a priority. We'd definitely like to get that shower, so it is just a case of continue on. Don't just blow all the resources on frivolous things or things that might not be of uh, exceptional use uh, let's go for accept transition so we found something in this house are you interested yes we are and we'll just take everything I'll care later that's a lockbox which says hidden items lockbox um, if we had a lockpick set we could lock it I'm, did I not equip the lockpick set I mustn't no I didn't did I ah that's my no I don't think I did no, I didn't. I forgot to equip the lockpick set. Okay, what I'll do then. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're currently in the town. I was going to say I was going to just recall them. Um, but they're already over there, so we'll just do that. It's not Relic Hunter. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Um, it's, yeah, it's not really too much of a problem now because we are looking for just bare raw resources like steel, wood, cement. You know, we're not looking for rare stuff and ooh. That is a rabbit caught in the snare trap. So I will uh, accept the transmission. Uh, small p petrol station they want to talk. I will get involved. They might have something to trade. See what we can trade. If anything, hopefully not blows or bullets. Hey, buddy, don't you walk on by. Confirm. Whoa, these are there. I've got some good items just for trade if you're interested. Yes. Right, they have a gas mask. I will trade them. I will trade them a mannequin arm, two mannequin arms, some scrap, a carrier bag, and I'll probably take the fuel off them and trade them probably the soap. Yeah, trade. 
confirm. So that's why you pick up all the scrap you can. Not only do you use it to, like for trading there, you know, it also means that if you bring it back, you might be able to use it eventually. But I tend to use it for trading, so I'm quite happy about that. Anyway, so uh, Francis, you can go ahead and harvest that trap, please. And uh, those are fine. Let's accept the transmission. Small petrol station. Examine items. What a surprise. It's full of fuel. Uh, all these raw resources, we're going to take them with us. Confirm. Bring them back. Uh, we do need to clean the shelter. It looks to be a bit dirty, but uh, we'll let Anthony go about his business, and then we'll do that. Accept the transmission. A church, so we'll search that location there. And I'm sending them out here to uh, harvest that trap. I don't think there's too much of a problem if you send them out quickly, but if you don't, if you send them out here to, like, say, repair these, and it takes quite a lot of time, then it's not all good. Scanner radio frequencies has not yielded any information. Brilliant. That only took ages. A snare trap of harvested. Gain the following items: two stakes. Um, can we check the vehicle? Um, oh, we didn't bring any resources, did we? Open the resource. Uh, mortar, but we didn't bring. The actual vehicle thing. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, clean shelter here. So pick up the mop and bucket, and we'll clean this up, especially when it's around here because it can give you food poisoning. So we found some of the church. We will examine that. We found rope. We found a switch. We found again. It doesn't matter. We just pick everything up until we're maxed out. That's the general rule of thumb. Obviously, it's going to take a while for them to come back. Let's go for um, again. Accept transmission search the school we're going to scan frequencies i like to keep scanning the frequencies when there's nothing else to do um craft item we'll say shelter room and actually what we'll do instead is go for the cement both of these we can say craft cement because i don't really want to expand down the uh, down the bottom here there's no point you can see we can get another level so you can get four levels in total but there's no point in me expanding along here simply because there's nothing to build um, how are we doing for this? What filter is going down? Uh, we can put some stuff in there with no point. So we found someone in the school that signaled us. Uh, yeah, we'll get involved. We'll see what the deal is. As I said, there is combat in the game. You've got four options when you turn up. You've got uh, trade, bully, fight, and I think flee. Well, well, what's this sorry piece of garbage I see before me? Well, that's just not... Mm, I, don't, I don't think he's wanting to trade. Well, maybe trading blows. Um, unless it's inf insult sword fighting from Monkey Island... I don't think this is going to go well. By the time I'm done with you, Doctor's going to think that you got an astral mouth because that's where you'll find the bits of your teeth, sweetheart. Uh, fight or flee? Bye. I'm running. <laughs> I don't need to uh, fight with that one. I believe... Uh, oh, it looks like we haven't got away. Um, so you can try and escape or you can try and fight. I'm going to attack and try to disarm them. So, ah, we managed to disarm them. That is good. I believe Sharon has got good strength. So that's uh, actually all right. But we will obviously try to disarm them. And there we go. Constantly disarming them. And I'll say attack and melee. So one, two... And then three, yeah, this is, yeah, Sharon's actually got high strength, so they've actually caused bleeding as well. And every time we disarm them, they, their action is to pick up their weapon. So, boom, yeah, once again disarmed, and we'll keep on attacking them. We could try and subdue them, but quite frankly, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm all for just attacking this guy. We were trying to talk to them nice and friendly, and no, 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 they weren't having any of that. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a case of, uh, Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, John. And, oh, he has some antibiotics and a mannequin leg. Hopefully that's not actually a prosthetic that he was actually wearing. But um, he's not using it now anyway, so we're not too bothered. You can see we have got some levels up there. Just a little increase in uh, the strength. It doesn't increase the actual rating until it gets to the end. But that's some experience. Sadly, there will be some stress gain there because obviously we have just killed a man. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, not good. Let me accept the transmission. Let's have a quick look at the items in the school. And, wow, okay, loads of stuff. So we'll just go click, 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 click. And then we max it out. So we've got all manner of stuff. We're going to start dumping. So we don't want the mannequin leg, but we'll take the nail. We don't want the TV, but we'll take the plastic bag, I guess. An old broken CRT TV could possibly yield some useful components if recycled. Well, if only we had a recycler. Oh, wait, we don't. Uh, the sanders, by the way, uh, it increases your repairing and crafting speed, which, if I look on here, is only 10%, so not very good. Oh, it looks like uh, Michael's actually uh, got loyal there, which is excellent. So we'll accept the transmission. A small house, search the location once again. We don't want to do anything there. These are integrity is fine. We don't need to fix the doors. We would like to upgrade the small water butts to mediums, but... I don't think it's going to much matter if I'm quite honest with you. Um, can we upgrade that? Currently, we've got oxygen filter. 
we can support upgrade. Increase the rate at which oxygen can put in the shelter, allowing you to support up to six people in the shelter at once. Well, we have six people, actually. We do have we do actually have six people. Uh, never in the shelter at once, so it's normally um, it's normally only four, and the rest go out. So that's probably why it'll be going down. So examine the items in the house there. We've got food. Uh, sorry, fuel. I guess it's car food. Uh, and some paint. Maybe start taking some paint. We'll get rid of the burnt clothes, because... Uh, we like to wear something a bit more suitable and we will confirm what's that hidden yeah the hidden lockbox it's gonna eat away at me because i messed that one up uh craft item do i really want any of these i maybe want to go ahead and make another gas mask how many do we have let's have a quick look open storage looking for the gas mask we have i can't see the wood for trees five six seven of them so craft item do we really need another one i don't think we do i'm really not convinced we do does it use any resources that we need though plastic rubber and wool we're trying to create the bed we are trying to create the bed so no we're not going to craft that uh what storage is max small house will search the location as i said the game is um you know you do do a lot of uh, micromanagement stuff and then sometimes you're just waiting um it's just the nature of the beast I guess. We're currently scanning over there. We won't be able to upgrade this to the next tier. The next tier requires a yeah, level 4 workbench is uh, yeah, we need lenses, switches, duct tape, wood and rubber. No. We don't have any of that. Uh, we'll repair this thing because it's on 54%. Uh, so a small house. Once again, gasoline, food, gas masks. There's loads of stuff that we're finding. Um... So we'll dump. I think we'll start getting the lenses. That would be quite useful. We will keep the chisel. We'll get rid of the carrier bag. We'll take the food. What are we on for food? 19. But I find that you can't really have too much food. Hence the weight game over Christmas. But I think it's just important to have that in the shelter. All these tools are useful. Screwdrivers, nail guns, sanders. I'll probably put one of the sanders down. And I'll possibly take the fuel. Yeah, and we'll take the paint can as well. And there we go, we'll confirm that. Job done. How close are they? They are they are now on their way back. So they're gonna come this way. They'll probably nip into the church on the way past there, although Oh yeah, it does say visit five days ago. You can see the map is quite large. Um, you can hold and drag around and there's loads of places we haven't actually searched. So we haven't gone over here. We haven't checked out there. So that's obviously going to be a fairly big city. A little sort of town over there. And then you've got your sporadic bits around here as well. I don't know if uh, there's specific things further out. Like you might find like a military base or, or whatever. But it's all obviously random events and that sort of thing so they're going to go over and fix that generator it is currently generating and yes the light the, the light flashed there a second and i'm guessing that's because he's repairing it with a hammer uh, let's go to upgrade you've got eh, nothing we can really put in there i did upgrade the capacity because strangely i didn't have the ability um in order to increase your storage the only thing you can really do at the first tier is to build a tiny pantry, which only allows you to store food. However, um, we decided to get to tier 2 very quickly, and then I built a small crate. But before that, I had loads of fuel, but you couldn't really put it in the generator because it only had a certain amount of storage. So I upgraded it to the next level, which uh, made it a little beefier, but it basically just allows you to store more in it. So I just it, it's a better way of doing it, I think. So you can see we've got the uh, two people coming back, one of them faster than the other for some reason, and the horse will be obviously put in the stable there. And uh, I think we will feed the horse because they have been traveling quite a bit. You'll know when the horse needs feeding because they'll uh, start uh, neighing and stuff. And uh, whinnying? Is that a thing? I think so. Anyway, so they're going to head back in. That's all good. We'll see what we have and how much we can or cannot store, depending. You see, perception has gone up, and that is good. And take all, we can't store everything. So we don't need to bring up the water. That's perfectly acceptable. We don't want to bring uh, what don't we want um what have we got too much of we're going to get rid of three of the limestone take that uh the the satchel there we're probably going to leave the paint once again and toys i think we'll get rid of the toys because we haven't got a toy box uh, there's loads of toys at the 
other place as well, so I'm not really too bothered about that. I'm keeping the shotguns because they're worth 200, so if anyone comes along to trade, then that'll be quite good. Although I can't imagine, really, uh, what people would uh, have to trade that's worth that amount. So, radio scan results. The first scan on frequencies, we've discovered a radio broadcast from a trade caravan not far from us. They've given us their location, have added it to their map. Ah! Okay. So, if we go to uh, view map, we can see that. If we go back to base... Uh, is that us there? Yes. So where is the trade caravan? Small house, small house. Um, will it be highlighted in any particular way? It did say close to us, but I'm not seeing it. Unknown. So I thought it would be in, like, yellow, I thought. That's for the, uh... Events. Large reservoir. Scrapyard. It'll be somewhere. Um, I'll probably go out and have a little search. But in the meantime, Ryan, get out of bed. Craft item. And <laughs> we've got the timber. We've got everything else. We just don't have the wool. Which is a bit of a shame. A shotgun trap. Ooh, and tent. Stats will increase 50% slower while on their expedition. Also, you do you uh, lose some... Uh, like, you do use food and stuff when you're about, or... I should rather say... What's that? A saddle. I just carry my items, provides 12 inventory slots. Yeah, we're doing that. Oh, yeah, we're taking that, definitely. Um, we can't make another bed, but it means we can carry a lot more, and horse is the linchpin of our expedition. Anyway, that has been a bit of sheltered. I'm not going to go much further than that. I think I've uh, had, we've had a little natter and I showed you a bit of the game. And yeah, like I say, I, qu I quite like it. It doesn't. Um, it, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, bug me about it. You know, the fact that it is very micromanaging. So I'm just waiting to do. Not, you know, and there's a certain build orders that you, if unless you follow those, uh, you, you, you're just making it infinitely more difficult for yourself. Um, in spite of all that, though, I'm enjoying playing it. I do tend to jump back on the game. At least a couple of times a year, and uh, have a little go at the scenarios and start a new family and, and all that sort of thing. And it's it's nice just to explore. And as I said, the theme really does carry it personally. Um, so yeah, there you are. If you uh, want to see more than by all means, let me know in the comments. Uh, links in the description so you can check the game out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>